I'm kicking it retro. Welcome to Life in My Shoes. Today I am reviewing the Treetorn Rollins. So as you know already, I am a bit of a shoe aficionado. <clears throat> and so, so much so, at one point in my life, I had to institute a, a rule that should I buy a new pair of shoes, I had to buy a pair of equal value and donate them, or I had to get rid of a pair I had, either donate or uh, throw them away. So <clears throat> fortunately, I'm not in that era right now because I was able to get these. So I was in the market for a pair of retro shoes, a la the Nike Cortez. If you're familiar with them, they're a pair of retro, look very similar, um, but it's Nike. Uh, there were some challenges there. One, I couldn't find the price point I was looking for in the Nike Cortez. Uh, two, I couldn't find the price point in the color stay that I was looking for. Three, as you know from my Nike Air Current review, Nikes run really tight, uh, very tight across the toe. I sized up to a 12 in uh, the Air Currents and my piggies are screaming every time I wear those shoes. Um, so that was the challenge I had with the Nike Cortez. Some way, shape, or form, I stumbled upon a review of uh, the Treetorn Rollins. And uh, I saw it in a different color stay. So it has multiple color stays. It has a, a, a blue and red or, or slash red and blue. It has a gray and blue, a blue and gray, an orange and white. It has this color. It has several color stays for men. Um, and I st started doing my research. So started looking around and seeing, can I get a pair of these shoes? Now, I wanted them, obviously, in the gray and blue because that would match, or the blue-gray. Even the red-blue would match more with my wardrobe and kind of my fashion sensibilities. I wasn't able to find them. So I found, I take that back, I was able to find them, but I settled on these, green and yellow. Now, I don't have a lot of green or yellow in my wardrobe, but the deciding factor was, these were $22 brand new on Amazon. <coughs> That's significant because the other color stays were $100. So a $75 to $80 difference for a color stay, the exact same shoe, was a no-brainer for me. So I bought the Rollins. I'm familiar with Tree Torn brand. I wore Tree Torn Nylites in high school as my summer shoe. Um, bought a pair of leather ones, wore them into college, enjoyed them. Uh, these are are good. I've I've enjoyed these. So let me tell you a little bit about them. I got the green with the yellow. They come with the yellow laces. They also come with green laces. So you can swap them out if you want. I like the yellow because the sh shoe has more green on it, um, and I wanted uh, to have more of that accent. Uh, has a good rubber sole. Um, good, good amount of grip, pretty comfortable. Um, I bought these in an 11 and a half. I am generally a true to true to size 11. Um, but as you saw from my Nike video, the air current, I had to buy a 12 in that, and I'm still having issues with that in my ultra, uh, reviews. I've had to go anywhere from, uh, an 11 and a half all the way up to a 12 and a half because shoes are just erratic. So I was playing my bets because I don't like to return stuff. So I was playing my bets on this and I ordered this in an 11 and a half. Um, I will say I could have gone with an 11 on it. So they, they are pretty true to size. The reason I did is because the Nike are very narrow in the toe. As you see, these are very pointy. Um, so just looking at them online, my concern was that this was gonna be a little too tight through here and I needed a little extra volume. So that half a size was that. Um, in fact, oops, excuse me. In fact, the width is super adequate. So they're not narrow. The narrowness happens up in here and doesn't really affect the toes scrunching together. So they are very roomy. And thus I could have gone with a, um, a true 11 and a half. Um, they are super comfy. 
Um, they're not the most comfortable. It's, I wouldn't say they are a cushy ride. They're a comfortable ride. I don't have any complaints at the end of a day wearing them for a full day. No complaints from my feet um, whatsoever. Um, it is, I don't know what the material is the sides are made out of. This is a thinner, uh, feels like almost like a parachute uh, material on the, on the white part. Um, the green is like a suede. Um, the yellow here is a leather and here is a leather. Um, <clears throat> and the, the laces, as you can see, they're double knotted are significantly length. Um, so again, a very comfy shoe rubber. You can see they got some of the debris on them from, um, both of them have some of the debris on them from, um, walking so you can see it's kind of uh, mirrors both sides you can see kind of from the front um, uh, I haven't really gotten any comments on them um, but I've, I've really liked them again I would have loved a different color stay but for $22 versus $100 they were good they're a stylish shoe very retro uh, personally uh, I like when I wear a shoe I like to not like my shoe can't be completely out of nowhere from a color perspective. So when I wear a green and yellow shoe, I need to either be wearing green and yellow or I need to be wearing all neutrals. Um, so I, which is not a difficult thing. Most of my wardrobe is neutrals. Um, my favorite color is Heather gray. So I've got a ton of Heather gray stuff. So I can throw these with a pair of jeans, a Heather gray shirt, and have no issues with it. Um, beyond that, I would need to get like a green or a yellow shirt to wear with these shoes. <clears throat> Having said that, regardless of that, for $22, that's a no brainer. You cannot get a pair of name brand, brand new shoes for $22 today. You can't even get a pair of Converse All-Stars, which has less material than these, are flat and are very tight across the toe for, uh, for $22. I bought Converse All-Stars for $15 when I was in high school. They're now $45. I, I, can't, I can't even reconcile that. $22, I'd buy it every day. I'd buy it in multiple color stays for $22 if they were available. Great shoe, very retro, accomplishes exactly what I was trying to accomplish with it. It's a retro look. Um, it's stylish. Um, my kids... And kids' friends have commented that they like them. They always comment that I'm kind of a hipster dad when I wear stuff like this. Um, but all in all, I would highly recommend them. Great purchase for the price. Check Amazon to see if you can find a, a pair. Um, I think the price has jumped across the board, um, mainly for those that are in the least or lesser popular uh, color stays. So check them out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments below. Again, a great shoe, very comfortable, stylish, uh, affordable. At this price point, again, that's a no-brainer. If you can get them for $22 in any of the color stays, uh, I would say that that is an easy uh, buy decision. Uh, and that is it for this week. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, a like. Definitely leave some comments if you have questions about these shoes. If, if there's any other shoes that you're curious about, um, let me know because I do buy shoes quite often. Now, again, these are from my wardrobe. I'm not getting these provided um, by a retailer. So I'm not just going to go out and buy a bunch of shoes so I can review them, but I will review the, the shoes that I do purchase. So let me know in the comments below and we'll see down the road, I'll definitely be doing more shoe reviews. So we'll talk to you next time.